Stardew Valley is a game that is super confusing at first because it doesn't give you a ton of direction. The game drops you some parsnips to start your farm and the rest is pretty much up to you. You know you'll have to purchase some crucial items like more vegetables to plant, fruit trees, backpack expansions, and house expansions, but you have no idea where to start to grind that gold. There are a variety of ways to make money in the game. The first answer? Crops. Crops will get you a ton of money once they actually grow. So shocking that actual farming in a farming game will get you money. Mm. You have to be patient with them, but the wait is worth it. When purchasing seeds, make sure you have enough time in the season to actually grow them. Don't plant a vegetable that needs 12 days to grow, but you've got 10 days of spring left. Grab a calculator, take a breath, do that subtraction, you got this. You'll have to use energy to water your plants every day. Plan around that if you like doing other energy sucking activities like fishing or making your way through the mines. Once you upgrade your house, you'll get access to a kitchen. You can learn recipes from the Queen of Sauce herself, how does one get that title? And from the villagers in town. Food will give you extra energy that you need for the day, so you don't have to spend your entire supply of sweat on watering your crops. Food can also be purchased in town from places like the saloon. If you're running low on energy, take a trip to see Gus, he'll hook you up. Once you play the game enough, you'll be able to craft sprinklers to do all the watering for you. Save up your ore for your tools and sprinklers, they'll be a lifesaver and let you work quickly and efficiently. Craft kegs as soon as you can. Early in the game, you can use the kegs to make pale ale out of hops that can be grown in the summer. Pam will appreciate you. You can also take the fruit you grow and turn it into wine instead of selling a raw piece of fruit. Raw. Is, is fruit raw? Do you cook fruit? You can cook fruit. Raw fruit. Make sure you save up your star fruit and ancient fruit. Throw them in kegs and turn them into wine. Once you've upgraded your house enough, you'll be able to access a basement. Fill that puppy to the brim with casks and start upgrading that wine. Many items you collect in the game, like crops, animal products, and fish, fall into four different quality categories. Regular, silver, gold, and iridium. Casks can take artisan goods like beer, cheese, mead, ale, and wine and magically make them iridium quality. This isn't a quick money maker, however. Wine requires the most time to age, going from basic to iridium quality in two seasons. Aging to the highest star level doubles the sell price of the item. Starfruit will get you the most bang for your buck in a bottle of wine. If you end up choosing the artisan profession, one bottle of starfruit wine will sell for 4,500 gold. Cheeses can also be aged in the cask and will sell for a pretty penny. Sweet gem berries sell for a lot too, but they're costly to purchase especially at the beginning of the game. I felt like they were worth mentioning, but they do take a while to grow and cannot be transformed into artisan goods like wine. Could be worth your time to grow, but many players find that this tends to not be the best way to earn gold. But who asks them, right? You do you, boo. What about early game? In addition to planting as many crops as possible, fishing is a good activity that can get you a small fortune. Leveling up your fishing skill will make that green box a bit larger, as does getting a better fishing rod. Because this game loves to torture you and make fishing as hard as possible while you're still trying to figure out how the hell this mechanic works. You can drop the fish in your cell box or befriend Linus, grab the recipe for sashimi, and make some meals for energy. There are fishing areas in the mine as well. The lava eel might be hard to find in the lava pit, but if you fish a couple up, they sell for at least 700 gold each. Higher quality eels means more gold. Throw in the angler promotion and iridium quality eel, you've got yourself a nice 2100 gold per eel. There are legendary fish in the game that are available to catch. They sell for a nice price, but you can only catch one each per save file. It's up to you if you want to keep your trophies or sell them for that cold hard gold. Make sure you check the quest board often at Pierre's. Most of the time, the quests are pretty straightforward and can be satisfied fairly quickly. Completing these are a nice way to get you some extra cash. Make sure you compare the items you're giving away to the reward you've received. Sure, it'll help your friendship levels with the villager, but I can't afford to fund Abigail's diamond-eating habit. Don't walk by those worms in the ground. Take that hoe and dig for gold. Most artifacts can be sold or donated. There are a few that are required for recipes like the ancient seed or the dwarf gadget. If you find an artifact that you've already donated, just sell it. Strange dolls are a rare drop, but they sell for a thousand gold. Gemstones fall into the same category, but a lot of villagers like them as gifts. If you're not worried about building relationships with them, the gems can give you a ton of gold. Still looking at you, Abigail, there's no coincidence that your hair is the same shade of purple as an amethyst, little Miss Flamingo. If you like taking care of pigs, start working on some truffle oil. Animal products can be a nice gold farm in hiding. Truffle oil sells for almost 1,500 gold per bottle with the artisan promotion. There are many ways to make gold, and many ways to spend your gold. Just play the way you want and you'll probably end up with a nice chunk of change. 
If your wallet starts to feel flat, maybe explore outside your comfort zone. Make that extra gold and afford those backpack expansions or save up 10 million gold for that gold clock, cause why not? What's your favorite way to make money in the game? Let the fellow farmers know in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye!